Therefore, um, as I was building, I actually sold the system I was working on. Now, that being said, the same build I was working on is right here as far as the power supply and the fan, but you'll notice this client wanted the master edition enclosure. And I get asked all the time, what is the difference between the master edition enclosure? Well, the difference is, is that your GX16s are all put into the rear of the enclosure so that it will support all of the G540s inputs and outputs. And in this case, we have four inputs that are GX16 three pin panel mount. You can see them right there. They do come with the dust covers, which also protect against any uh, potential risk of contacting those pins. So these are not just dust covers. They also keep any type of metal objects out of the way that could actually short out your inputs. That being said, this panel also comes with one GX16 six pin panel mount, which would be for relay control as far as for spindle manipulation, as well as PWM control. Now on this side also, we have another GX16 three pin. If somebody was to install another relay, let's say for a, uh, a plasma system, or to have another relay installed for cycling direction uh, four and aft, which you've seen in previous videos. Uh, in that case, we would have to decide how we wanna do that. We could either use the six pin or we would use a three pin in conjunction with the six pin. Typically you'd use a six pin, but either way, this enclosure is set up so that all of the harder work is done. And you can see right in the back how we have all of our clearance. And look at how short the wire runs are going to the drive. Okay, the, the longest wire runs are right here. And again, we would use a ferrite with proper filtering as far as the frequency in order to eliminate any potential EMI for passive filtration. This right here is without a doubt the best investment for anyone wanting to eliminate any type of work moving forward. Let me explain. This client, you notice none of these are wired. This client wanted this in case he decides to add any other accessories that the G540 supports. I always tell you guys, check out using soft limits first before putting in physical switches. If you get the results you want with soft limits, guess what? You saved all of that money. However, if you decide that you want to put in physical switches or a touch plate or whatever other accessories the G540 supports, guess what? All of these ports are set, so you're good to go.